Is it rude to refuse to bow to members of the royal family? 0207 862 is the number to give us a call. So Jude Law has suggested that he wouldn't do it and he said that he doesn't believe in treating people differently because they are born into a particular family. Okay, the actor who is plays Henry VIII in a new film also said that he isn't sure if he is in fact a monarchist. But we are asking, is it rude to refuse to bow to the royals? And I will bow to your uh, your information here, Emily, <laughs> as a royal correspondent. What is it rude not to, ro to, to bow to the royals or to curtsy to the royals? What is the etiquette and do you have to do it? Okay, there so he here we go, here we go. My mate Chaz, uh -huh. my mate Chaz as I call him. All right, Chaz. Uh, so I am a royal correspondent and I've been reporting on the royals for 12 years. So the first time I met, uh, to answer your question, Storm, is it rude not to bow? No. Oh, members of the royal family. No, no, members of the royal family are very relaxed about they the, are? the public. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know, I know. Really? I, know. Yeah. I know, I know. I think the one caveat I would say is the monarch. So when I met Queen Elizabeth II, I, I bowed. I didn't, I don't, I, as a woman, per, from my own personal opinion, I don't want to curtsy, but I will very happily demonstrate oh. a curtsy and a bow for both of you. So you even like. if you're a woman, you can bow? Yes. And so when I, So when I met Queen Elizabeth II, I bowed and I will, I've got, just got to that? pick up, yeah, I'll show you. I'm going to pick up my uh, power pack. Mm -hmm. um, so if I start, <gasps> <laughs> breathe in, everybody. Right, so when I met Elizabeth II, um, I, our late queen, um, I shook her hand, but before I shook her hand, I said, pleasure to meet you, ma'am. That was that. With so that's a bow just a bow. from the neck. Just so if you're so oh, it's a bow from the neck. No, you just bow. So if uh, so for men, it's a bow from the neck. Quite quick. Quite quick. Okay. And you will see uh, Prince William. Oh, I've got members of the royal other members of the royal family in a minute. But if you are meeting the monarch, a quick bow, a curtsy. I'm not sure. I'm going to get up and practice this. Okay, come, come on. on. We'll do it. Come on, ladies. Come on. Look. Okay. So, well, so I'm practicing. So you put a one. Of the royal family, but it, when I do, I'm whatever your dominant right. leg. But I'm going to I'm going to go onto my left leg. So I'm going to put my right leg behind me. Oh. And just that's it. Just a quick. That's it. Yeah. Oh, so you have to yes, you, have, you guys have got high heels on. I wore flat shoes. Can I ask, do you so, put your quick. hand down? No, I mean, if you watch... Do you have to do that? If you watch The Princess of Wales, like... she goes very um, low and she goes like that. Oh, Yeah, I don't know if you can... My, like that. I say like I that. did meet the Queen. Yeah. I did meet did you, Queen did you Camilla. Curtsy? And I did... Uh, I put yeah, my hand yeah. out And first. the bow's just from your neck? I put my hand out first. And then That's I, OK. And then I bowed with my hand. <laughs> like that. So That's I'm going down. Oh, look! Oh, there you are. The there you are. That's um, well, they've kind of cut your body off there, but that looks yeah. a little so too reasonable. I was like to that, me. looking up to her down there, and then I thought, how do I get up? That's why, to be in. before okay. you go for the handshake, before you go for the handshake, yes. or before you before you address them, you should do the bow or the curtsy first, and uh. then you go. So if you watch, so okay, so that's the monarch. You meet the monarch. That's what you do. Okay. Any other member of the royal family, even when I met the Prince of Wales, I didn't bow. Um, I call him sir. I call um, Camilla when she was Duchess of Cornwall, and now she's the Queen. I call her ma'am. Yeah. But whenever I've spoken to William, Harry, Meghan, Kate, Catherine, as mm. I must now call them. Oh, here we are. Me with Kate. Um, oh, I've picture. always called them William, Harry, Meghan, Catherine. Or she was Kate, but now she's Catherine. I've never called them sir or ma'am. They're the same age as me. Yeah. And I agree with Jude Law. I actually agree with Jude Law. They, why should we? But hold on, how can you agree with Jude Law, which yeah. I think in principle is a, a fairly nice way to go about your life, but still bow when you meet the monarch? Because I think the monarch is different because the monarch transcends the person and the monarch transcends, you know, the, the motto of the royal family is French, Dieu et mon droit. God on my right. And the whole point about being monarch, male, female, it's not about the person, you're in the embodiment of God on this earth. That is, why, that's why our monarch oh. is head of the Church of England. If we go back to the Henry VIII, obviously where, which Jude Law's playing, which was why he's kind of making these monarchs mm. on the con, yeah. uh, comments on the monarchy. Obviously Henry VIII broke us away from uh, the Catholic Church. And so that's why our monarch is head of the church. And that's why for me, I mean, I, I'm not religious, but that's why for me, I give respect to the monarch in terms of everything that he or she embodies and that's what I'm about but not to anyone else. Can I ask you because you remember on the Netflix that Meghan and Harry did she did uh, a, when she was talking about when she met the she, went... she did a real like a like a bird flapping it was like <laughs> darling what are you doing and yeah and I never should I, no, should I do it about? again should I do it again literally all you so have to do watching, it's just a quick bob it. it's a quick bob it's 
That's it. And don't make a don't make a meal of it. She made such a meal of it. She made a meal um, of it. Talking about what other members of the royal family should do, though, it's about rank. So you will see William, Catherine, you'll see George, Louis, uh, Charlotte, you'll see every other member of the royal family when they first meet the monarch on that day. You don't have to like. You don't, you don't have to do it all day long. You don't have to do it all day long. You go to the loo, pop out, and then you go exactly. back. To it. It's good when for the When you first old meet the monarch, you have to bow or curtsy. So, for instance, you'll see at a church service, you'll see the Prince of Wales go up to his father, give a quick bow, and then give him a big kiss on the cheek. Mm -hmm. Same with the Princess of Wales. Same with Prince Edward. Same with you know the Princess Royal. She some she will normally she will always curtsy the Princess Royal to her brother. And for instance, um, the Prince of Wales now he's the heir. Prince Harry technically. Would um, so, but Harry's not brother. a royal, so you wouldn't. You, no well, he's a member of the he's family, not, but he's not a working what, royal. Zara, so, uh, you wouldn't bow to no, he Harry. would, because Zara Tyndall, not a working royal, she would curtsy to her uncle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Peter but, Phillips would, so would we, bow. But so would we all technically? So it wouldn't no, exactly. whether you were working or not. I working. think Jude Lord's oh. out of order. Oh. oh, do you? Yeah, I do. So you would you would bow to would any bow. of the royal family? I would bow to all Prince, the royal Prince family. Prince Andrew? Not not Andrew. No, Prince Harry? No. Or Meghan, but the rest, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you the so working, working royals, royals. So strictly, working royals. So strictly, you wouldn't bow to the whole royal family. You <laughs> no, would the, the working ones, royals. You quite like the working royals. All know. right, we'll take a few of your calls on this after the break. Is it rude to refuse to bow to the royal family, or is it rude to refuse to bow to the monarch, particularly? But first, your calls on whether it is rude to refuse to bow to a member of the royal family. We've heard what the panel thinks on this, but now it is over to you. We're going to start with Suzanne calling from Argyle in Butte. Would you bow to our monarch? Um, I do have a story that happened when I was about eight years old, um, back in the 60s. Okay. Uh, and I met the Queen and Prince Philip. Um, I was, so I was about, yeah, I was eight. I'd been practicing curtsying for the Queen for weeks and weeks and weeks. Um, and when it happened, she was on the other side of where they were walking along. Oh. And I think Prince Philip saw the very angry look on my face and came across to me. And I didn't know, I mean, I couldn't curtsy to him. But what he did do was he reached his hand across and gave me a wee handshake and then walked on. Now, I was still furious. <laughs> Because you practiced I, your curtsy, but why couldn't you curtsy? Oh my word, yes. Why couldn't you curtsy to uh, Prince Philip? I think it's because he was a man, and I'd just been practicing oh, to do it with the Queen. Oh, see, oh, I was you just thought in your head, you were like, "Oh no, I just know that I curtsy to the mm -hmm. Queen." Oh, that's but so cute. I think, uh, my, of course, my amazing memory is that Prince Philip came and shook my hand. I was a brownie at the time. Okay. Uh, I was there with the Navy family. And I'd been living there for about three years. So it was one of the... And looking back on it, it was an amazing moment, really. Uh, and, and you didn't actually and what an do, man. do any of the etiquette. You just ended up shaking hands with them, Susan. And so what do well, you think... Well, he came and shook his hand with me, I think. Yes, yeah. Um, I was just standing there looking furious, I reckon. <laughs> <laughs> That's he was funny. actually, Suzanne, uh, Philip was very, very yeah. good. Um, the, the police protection officers that looked after the Queen. My, my, my dad knew him. My, da my dad um, worked in the Navy during the Maltese crisis oh. and got medals and stuff. So You're great. He was a great man, Prince Philip. And yeah. what he used to do was when he used to see um, children like yourself who were waiting um, for the Queen, exactly. he used to drive the police protection officers mad. He would sometimes lift them up mm -hmm. over the barriers. And, and that was take, way back in the 60s. And take them oh, over word. to meet the Queen. And then, of course, the protection officers would be like, oh, my gosh, where are the parents. So I'm so glad he came over and shook your hand. What a great guy. What a moment. Do you, do you know Absolutely. what? I don't, I don't think it really matters when you're a child, surely. No. I think most of the royals would no. be exactly. pretty, 100%, for, 100%, pretty giving. 100%. But Susan, you, you know when, that, when someone's a real person, you just know it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, but you would bow now? You would curtsy? No. I'd, I'd probably just give him a hug. <laughs> well, Ooh, oh, 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 oh. Are you ready to hug a royal? Yeah. Uh, not well, King Charles. I think normally when Charles is meeting members I'd of give any of them a hug. public, oh. there are barriers when he's on his walkabout. Right. But he has kind of given accepted kisses. Oh, yes. He loves a walkabout. He loves the energy from the crowd. I think if you said, may I give you a hug, sir, if he was feeling in a good mood and he said just... But crucially, the police protection officers... Would be there to say no. You're OK. Well, you just mentioned Joey Halliwell when she's in the Spice Girls when she just sort of jumped on Charles. Yeah, I mean, that, I think that was quite, that was quite, quite the moment. It, Susan, thank you very much for your call. Donna from Kent, what would you do if you met King Charles out in a walkabout? I would never bow to anybody. 
No, I mean, I was, it's an interesting point that you make and I, I'm presuming you go through the Jude Law sort of line of thinking here that everybody's equal. 100%. But also, if you bow to somebody, that means you're beneath them and I'm not does beneath it? anybody. It, it, uh, it does. And the other, my other thing is they serve us. So why are we bowing to them? They should bow to us. But Donna, is it, is it a sign of subservience? I just wonder, because I was telling the team earlier, I think I bow to most people. If I see them from yeah. a distance, you're right, how are you doing? That's a kind of I've bow, got a habit it? of a nod. I'm a noddy person. Yeah. I'm how, doing that. How are you doing? I do that, that all the time. Do we, yeah. not, do we I, not do that? I do nod in the car, so I nod as a thank you if yeah. somebody's waiting. But, so OK. I, I nod, so, but does but that mean have. that you are beneath them? No. No, I, I don't nod. I, I nod, but I don't bow. Oh. There's a very big difference between a nod and a bow. Is it? Oh, right, OK. Well, Do Donna, you've got my thinking hat now. Do I nod or do I bow? I'm, I'm not quite sure. I'll keep an eye out on that. Thank you very much for your call. Ian from Glasgow, would you be nodding, bowing, curtsying? <laughs> What's your thoughts? Well, I don't, uh, definitely not. After this call, I'll probably get dragged to the Tower of London. <laughs> yeah, go on. Uh, go on. Honest, Thankfully, <laughs> that's not the case so, anymore. So you can you can let us know your true feelings. Yeah, it's just one of those ones, Storm. I don't really uh, agree with the royal family as as such. And as it's moved on, I think this one has just got worse and worse. Now, I'll just give you a couple of quick bullet points. And it's just my thoughts. Uh, the king, whether you like it or not, was an, ad an adulterer. And I watched the Jeremy Vine show all the time as well. So there's a big thing when the king was getting married to Camilla, or whatever her name is. Uh, and a lot of older people phoned in and said, this isn't right, he shouldn't be allowed through the Church of England, or I don't know too much about that. Uh -huh. uh, but they were very unhappy about that at the so. time. That was a lot of royalists. Uh, I also think he, he should nod to me and say, thanks very much for the extra £40 million a year I'm getting. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know, they bring a lot in. They bring a lot in <laughs> well, we've, not even, we've not even started in, uh, Andrew yet. I mean, good grief. I mean, why would we, you, you want to nod to this family? I mean, the Ian, £30 it, million that the Queen paid is fine. It wasn't the Queen, it was us. Well, OK, <laughs> we're talking about Prince Andrew, who isn't a working royal anymore, so you wouldn't okay, have to necessarily okay. nod or, or curtsy to well, him, Ian. But I, but I take your point. I think you agree with our... Our previous caller there that they that you think they serve us and not the other way around and and we're all equal I suppose Ian thank you very much for your call we're going to move on now.